Hello my soccer universe to the second part of this year's Bundesliga jersey review. I'm wearing Freiburg, one of my better of the better looking um, Bundesliga jerseys that I have in my collection. Unfortunately they are not as we will see with this supplier Hummel in, 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 anymore. There will be no Hummel uh, jerseys in my Bundesliga jersey review and for that we actually should have a moment of silence. No, not really. However, we have another five teams to look at into this video and before we got into this, I quickly, how do I choose the teams in this video? I said already part one and all my other uh, reviews. I take last season standings and I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one um, and so on until we have the, the final table and everyone with the two next to it is in this video and then I look at the teams, how I call them uh, informally and sort them alphabetically uh, they are after. And that's why we start with Bielefeld or Arminia Bielefeld. So, but in any case, they end up being first in this countdown. And I gotta say, I have seen that the home jersey uh, for Bielefeld has been panned by footy headlines where I take most of the pictures from. I have to say, I really like this jersey. And I have to a little bit um, confess, I was completely dumbfounded last season when I said the black jer uh, home jersey that I had is ac ac actually good looking. I mean, Bielefeld is really black, blue, white. And this is what this jer jer jersey does. I absolutely love this. The only Macron team in the Bundesliga that also deserves to be noted. Um, and I love this look with the... Uh, black and blue stripes with a little bit white in, in in between the blue sleeves. This has something of a classic Bielefeld look to me. I'm not sure if they ever worn this, but I absolutely love this. And this is riding pretty high on a list of shirts that I would like to have uh, for, for the season. Very strong look, very distinctive look. Even the sponsor, yes, I would love if it was not like this, the pattern was not uh, in, in interrupted. But it's a really cool looking jersey and for that reason I'm gonna go nine stars. Macron, you have done again an outstanding job um, there. The uh, away jersey is black, kind of may make sense. You see the little upside down chevrons on the bottom, which I think is a um, reference to the city of Bielefeld's coat of arms. So I like that. And now, um, yeah, like last season's home home jersey, which actually would probably be nice as a third jersey. I, I actually like you take uh, probably the, uh, the darkest club color and then add a little bit uh, blue and white. So you have all the clubs colors on there there as well another one really nicely done shirt uh is it as, as exciting as the home jersey no it's not it's a rather plain jersey but i again i really think that macron has done a fine job here and adding this upside down chevrons gives it a little bit extra as well so um as i said not as exciting but i want to give this uh seven stars the third jersey um and i'm not sure red probably Probably, and I'm guessing here, might be uh, colors of the city of Bielefeld. And you see already in the corner there's B-I-E, uh, prints of standing for Bielefeld. Um, and yeah, it's red uh, with dark uh, red shoulders. That looks a little bit too templatey for me, a little bit more like a Nike jersey. Um, but as a third jersey, I think it does a decent enough job, but it doesn't excite me as much as the others. So, uh, and I find these white stripes a little bit weird. Maybe Macron is pushing a template upon us that we haven't seen here yet. Um, but I'm gonna go five stars with this one. Then we come already to the team that I am wearing here, which is of course Freiburg. And as I said, minute of silence for Hummel, we are at Nike. And I have to say, when I saw that they are with Nike, I was really, and I mean really disappointed because I loved the Nike, uh, the Hummel jerseys. Nike, now you get templates. And you get a rather wild template. I don't know, Freiburg not too long ago has already been with uh, Nike. They're moving also a new stadium. I guess there's better distribution if you're with Nike, whatever. Um, but you know, this seems to be, I don't know if it is a template, but it seems very templatey. Maybe this is a Schwarzwald ham cut through and you kind of see the fat uh, instead of white. It is, uh, yeah, 
Already when I start with such an analogy, we are not going big places here. Uh, rather, yeah, five stars and I'm being kind here. I gotta say though that the away trip, although this is one template that we saw already for the Austrian Bundesliga, uh, I think at Mira, here it's actually done nicely because you have black and then you have contrasting shoulders in red. And I have to say, this looks really strong. Uh, this is, an, this is a pro, pro, probably a winner. All out of there. Yes, we can discuss the pattern that goes over over the shoulder, but I have to say, this one I like, and it also fits rather well with the sponsor. Although you know, it is the sponsor is always a little bit uh, cum cumbersome, but that actually, as I said, I really like. Uh, I'm gonna go eight stars with that one, um, and the third jersey, yeah, Nike template and blue and everything full color. It that's a little bit messy and weird and whatever. If this was white. I probably could live better with it, but with the, uh, yeah. Four, three, four. Let's, let's give give four. After all, it's a team that is kind of likable. Uh, uh the other promoted team and probably the, every, everyone's favorite of Geo going down again. They have Puma. Uh, if you haven't realized it from the shirt, because the Puma cat is not, you are not able to see this Puma cat easily. At first, I was really wondering, what is this pattern on there? I mean, it's heavily patterned. Uh, are these bats? Is this, uh, you know, is this a night skyline or are these birds? But it looks more like bats. If you look closer, these are hexagons, where always one side is a little bit more colored and the rest is white, giving this very intricate pattern on there. Now, whether this is related to anything of the city of Fürth, I'm not sure. However, it, it looks rather weird and this is something I would rather see on a third jersey. Then having the sponsor up there in blue and also, you know, kind of two line with the personal is a little bit over. I know this is the company's logo. It also doesn't sit quite right. And uh, like with the Puma Cat, you cannot really see the logo. It's definitely a head scratcher. Um, and it's definitely one that for me personally would is rather going into the bin than anywhere else. So I'm gonna give this three stars. Fürther, Kreuter Fürth, I should say, redeemed themselves with a pretty nice looking away jersey, jersey, jersey though. Yes, um, the lines, you know, those, uh, the second line that is kind of the um, uh, transition from green to black uh, is a little bit odd, but I have to say there is a, a certain regularity in there that makes for a really, really strong look. Uh, this one is nice and here even the sponsor doesn't look all that bad, although I think you can maybe could have aligned it in such a way, I don't know exactly how, but that um, it doesn't interfere with the green stripe. Other than that, I gotta say, this one I like a whole lot better. I'm gonna give this eight stars. Uh, it's not all bad what Fürth is dishing up. The third jersey, yeah, similar as to Freiburg. Does this have anything to do? Again, third jerseys, you can try something new, but does this have anything to do with the club? No, this is a little bit more the blue from the company that is sponsoring them. Why? From where is this coming from? Um, I'm gonna go here two, uh, two, two, two star. three stars, egg, egg, and but it's not my favorite look. I am sorry, Furt. Uh, I would have loved to give you some better grades, but uh, nah, it's not quite cutting it for me. Leipzig. The first, uh, my first thought when I saw this, these are bloodstains. It's a bloodstained jer uh, jer jersey. The picture I have in mind is a uh, third place playoff uh, in uh, 1990 World Cup, Italy, England. There were a few England players that had bloodstained shirts even then at the uh, uh, trophy ceremony. That's what I was think th thinking about it. I mean, uh, let's applaud Nike and Le Leipzig for uh, coming up with something a little bit more original, but white and red, come on. Put a little bit yellow on there, maybe. Uh, but yeah, and all Leipzig jerseys are like that. But this one is just not doing it for me. Um, I cannot get past the bloodstain look, and for that reason, two stars. Um, the same template, or the same idea on black with uh, blue and yellow looks awesome and a little bit red sprinkled in. I actually think it could use a little bit more red, but then you get the red from the Red Bull logo. This one is an awesome shirt, I gotta say. This is, uh, for a black shirt, it's really, really colorful and I actually uh, really do like that one. And... 
Call me crazy, but uh, there's something about this, uh, this one. This might be uh, one of the best Leipzig shirts that I've seen in a long time. And I include there the famous one that they had in the Champions League, which also looked pretty nice. But this one, I think uh, there's enough color in there to make it spectacular. And this one is another one that might tempt me to break my embargo on uh, Red Bull shirts. I'm going to go straight nine stars with that. There they have some, some, some something. If you have it only two colors, no. But similar to Greyer um, uh, a similar idea just doesn't work for me on the third shirt. What is this? Again, yes, it has a uh, it has a dark base and it's blue. It has pink. It has no colors in whatsoever related to the team. And again, this is for me. This is uh, Nike going all out and way too far. Uh, with an idea um, and yeah so we end up back where we started with the red and white shirt I wanna give it maybe a nah I'm also gonna give this two stars um, it's not the plus look but this is a Robotech or whatever it doesn't it doesn't see it well with me so all I'm saying is all three jerseys have kind of the same idea one hits it out of the park and the other ones I have associations with that just don't work or where I look at it and I'm wondering, what is this? Design, it's a very personal taste. I think most probably you may even disagree with me. Now, um, we're going <laughs> very plain Adidas template for Union Berlin. Uh, and I still don't get why Union Berlin is with Adidas. To me, this does not fit their punk rock attitude, to be honest. It is a plain Adidas shirt. The sponsor is not bad. The logo is wacky. Um, and it all fits nicely together. And you know, a Bundesliga shirt in Adidas should always look good. It does. If this was a Bayern home jersey, I would probably say, hooray, and we're almost at 10 stars. For Union Berlin, yeah, it's rather on the average side. But you know, is it bad? No. Is it a classic Bundesliga jersey? Yes. And so I'm talking myself. I mean, I was starting mentally here, uh, kind of low, but I'm talking myself up to kind of give it a... Uh, yeah. Let's not go too crazy. A six-star jersey. Um, the away jersey, haven't we seen that somewhere else? Lyon, potentially. And then kind of, I'm already asking myself, why I thought this Lyon jersey special. Probably there's a difference there. Uh, but it has the same black and white crest um, all over pattern, typically for Adidas these days. Yeah, I guess it's exciting, but to me, does it scream Union? Not really. Um, I'm rather cold on this one with four stars. And then the final jersey we look at, and um, this might be cont contagious. I actually like this one quite some. I like this more modern Adidas color with the black inset there. And while the Union crest in, uh, sits in red and yellow there, and we have green and black accents, I actually think it fits because there are contrasting colors that actually complement each other quite well. And you know, you have the league logo and you have the um, uh, club's logo in red sticking out and all the other logo sponsors are a little bit sec secondary blending in and i if i'm not completely mistaken union always had something greenish on their away or third churches i gotta say i like this one and i'm gonna go with six stars so this is where you come in i would like to know which churches you liked in this video uh give me um and where you agree with me or where you di where, where, where disagree with me i think i've been quite uh, harsh on some here and you know maybe some contentious opinions of mine in any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.